Good afternoon everybody and today I'm going to read Kate and the Starry Night by Dame James Mayhew. You may recognise the picture behind her as a famous one painted by Van Gogh. One day they went to see some paintings by Vincent Van Gogh. Katie's favourite was called The Starry Night. It looks magical, she said, like a dream. Talkings of dreams, said Grandma. I could do with a nap. Katie looked more closely at the picture. The stars seemed to be moving. Grandma was almost asleep. So Katie quietly climbed the picture frame and into the painting. The dazzling stars sparkled and swirled. They looked close enough to touch, so Katie reached out and grasped one. Oh, I must show Grandma, she said, putting the star safely in her pocket. Jumping back into the gallery, Katie saw some other stars twirling after her. Perhaps they want to play, she laughed, jumping up to catch them. But she couldn't quite reach. Hmm, I need something to stand on, said Katie. So she saw a picture called Vincent's chair. That's perfect, she smiled. Katie quickly grabbed the chair out of the picture and as more and more stars tumbled into the gallery. But even standing on the chair, Katie couldn't reach all the stars, and some floated into another picture called Noon. She decided to chase after them, so she climbed through the frame. A young couple were napping in the shade on a hot summer's day. The stars tumbled into the sky, and night soon fell upon the countryside. The woman, whose name was Marie, woke up. Oh, look at the stars, she said. Surely they don't belong in this painting. Uh, no, said Katie. Would you help me catch them? So climbing up the haystack, Katie and Marie had a wonderful time cat jumping to catch the stars and landing in the soft hay. But when they jumped back into the gallery, the spinning stars slipped through the fingers once again. We must get them back in the painting before the gallery guard sees they're missing, said Marie. But even Marie wasn't tall enough to catch them. Oh, look, there's a ladder, said Katie, spotting a picture called the Olive Grove and she quickly climbed through the frame. Women were gathering olives from a tree. Can I borrow your ladder? asked Katie. I have to catch some stars. The ladies laughed. Ma chérie, you cannot catch stars. You can with a ladder, said Katie. Come and help me. And they all raced back into the gallery, and the olive pick pickers held the ladder steady as Katie climbed up to catch the twirling stars. It was tricky work, because the stars wouldn't keep still. And the more Katie tried to catch them, the more they spun away. The stars were drifting towards another painting called Fishing Boats on the Beach. Come on, we must catch them, said Marie. And they all climbed inside. In the picture, the stars were caught on a breeze and twirled out to sea. How will we reach them now, asked Marie. Let's take a boat, said Katie. Oh yes, a boat ride, said the olive pickers, giggling. They sailed across the sea as the stars sparkled in the sky. What shall we do, worried Marie? The stars are so high. And Katie saw a big fishing net in the boat. Let's try this, she said. And they all threw the net as high as they could and caught the stars. At last, said Katie, as everyone cheered. Back in the gallery, they all quickly ran to the starry night picture. Now we can put the stars back in before the guards find them. They threw the stars into the sky, but it didn't quite look right. What's that, in your, what's that in your pocket? Katie asked Marie. My star, said Katie. I want to show it to Grandma. But it might float away again, said Marie. Put it in the starry night and then you can see it whenever you want. So Katie threw the star up into the painting. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone, said Katie. We did it. And now we must return to our pictures too, said Marie. Au revoir, ma chérie. Goodbye, called Katie. And Katie put the chair back where it belonged, just in time, as a gallery guard came past. Phew, said Katie. Hello. Good afternoon, he said. And then Grandma woke up. Oh, I must have nodded off, she said. I had a lovely dream about stars. Katie giggled. And that night, Katie and Grandma looked out of the window. It was a beautiful, starry night. The stars look almost alive, said Grandma. That 
they are, laughed Katie. And Grandma smiled. Perhaps, she said. Good night, Katie. Maybe you can have a go at drawing the starry night at home. Hope you enjoyed the story. Goodbye.